Hello everybody and welcome, I am Count Christo and it's my birthday, lucky me. We're gonna play some Uber, Uber Eich for a bit on this, the most auspicious of days. See if we can make some progress. First off, we've got this great fan made trailer. So we'll roll this as the intro, roll the tape. America has decided to arm herself for protection against any aggressor. And the assembly lines of the automobile industry now become assembly lines of defense. Hell yeah, that was made by Zoom, thank you Zoom, it's very cool, <laughs> awesome, I have hiccups, by the way, in case that wasn't perfectly clear, <laughs> sorry about that, but we will play nonetheless, I have remembered, I completely forgot to ping my discord, so let me do that, uh, give me but a moment, Alright, uh, uh, Twitch, let's, now, uh, live with birthday, Uberreich. So what's the plan for today? Well, I am going to attempt to join the Axis. <laughs> I think that will actually work. I think what we should do is join the Axis, become the f faction leader, of the Axis, and then kick the British Empire <gasps> and Italy and all the other members of the Axis, and then kill all the other members of the Axis, <laughs> and then leave the Axis, and th or maybe just kick Germany, and then go toward Germany. I, I think that may work. Playing some manly guns. Uberreich Challenge Come say hi. Alright, sorry about forgetting to do these pings before I started, but there you, you go sometimes. That's just the way she goes. Hello, Yunky. Not sure how I say your name. So we'll go, we'll go with that for now. Alright. Post. Post. Live. Done. Good. <laughs> Rock and roll. Okay, so we're currently at war with the Allies, um, who consist of basically just Australia, Estonia, Finland. We are landing on Finland, have landed on them already. Jolkis. All right, Jolkis. I'll try. I'll try. So all we have to do is land a couple of places here, and we should be good. The, uh, the Danes can fall as soon as we've landed here. Good. Off you go. Landing there. And now, now we can do Norway and all the rest of these. We'll just wipe out all these guys and then we will... Well, actually, we might as well join the Axis now, I think. They don't want to do it while we're at war. Fair enough. But we will join the Axis and then in order to take control of the Axis, you have to, ha you have, to have like 150% of the number of factories that the leader does. Which is going to be tough to say the least. But I think with the integration of China and all that, and Brazil and South America, I think we might be in pretty good shape to get our numbers uh, up that high. We'll see. We'll have to see. Where's my uh, yes, sir. Where's my Norwegian naval invasion at? There they are. Cool. Important decision available. Um, oh, we've got some strikes going on right now. We could do 
paramilitary training in the Dutch East Indies. No, that's okay. Um, we've got mutinies. Ah, oh, yes. Our war support has dipped down rather a lot. That's not good. We can't do uh, war propaganda without some political power. We're definitely going to have to try and bump that up. Leaving this war, obviously, will help that. And I think we put great political effort into uh, stopping it being a imminent pro problem, so it should be okay. Oh, damn, we're not actually landing here. Let's, uh, let's quickly shift that so we can land there. I don't know if this counts as them being touched in the war. So we'll have to see. Uh, I can quickly just replan the invasion of Norway from here. And we'll land somewhere that we're definitely not, not going to encounter a garrison. Good. We'll have to do one more against Norway. Ah, of course, because they're garrisoning the border of Germany. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Sorry about the hiccups, by the way. There's nothing I can do. Yemen. Let's grab you real quick. Um, who else do we want to get? William Headley. Hasn't this already happened? But no, we are... Uh, the Republic still has need of him. Well, actually, does it? Because <gasps> we've already filled out our Chief of Staff. You know what I'm going to do? Let's just test it. How is Charles Lindbergh? He is famous aviator. Famous aviator Charles Lindbergh. Doesn't give us any bonus. Well, that's fine. We weren't going to need defense on core territory anyway. 10 out of 10. Hiccup stream. He's clear. Christo's clearly been on the bubbly already. This is slander. I have actually not. Unfortunately. You two. Um, Bulgaria still independent? Yes. And uh, But problems is Bosphorus is closed to us. Turkey probably wouldn't be become a major. Let's, uh, let's prepare for an invasion of Turkey. So yes, we're going to try the new... Oh, right, we have uh, Ready, a, what you call it, down here, uh, a, a naval base down here. Um, we're going to try taking control. Who did I just assign here? Six Ready, divisions. Sir. That's not what I meant to do. Just one of you will do. Uh, who else is still alive in this weird, weird world of ours? Uh, we've got Iran, unlikely to become a major. Let's try landing there. And we're basically just going to do this until there are no more um, independent states in the world. Apart from those that are in the access. Chris, no, oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been having a pretty good birthday so far. <gasps> We've got quite a lot of convoys. We do not need this much convoy production. What's our naval composition like? We need a lot more destroyers. How are our... Escort destroyers looking. We don't have the 1940 hulls yet. Are we working working on them? We are. In which case, I will just. Uh, what have we got 1940 hulls for? Just just ca carriers basically. But I think I already have four 1940 carriers. Is that right? Uh, no, we have three. Are these 1940? No, Yorktown is. What's level, level are we have we got the level three carriers? Yeah, we do. Alright, so we need some of those. Let's uh let's get started on those. We'll need to design them. We're gonna want mad <laughs> mad hangar space, I think. Is the plan. Summon Dark is a subscriber to Twitch Prime, you're very kind. Thank you. It's very nice of you. I pre appreciate it a great deal. We are now two subs away from getting a siren emote. <laughs> <laughs> Which I am looking forward to. 1940 carrier. Okay, there we go. Let's get four of those. We have a primary and secondary carrier task forces. To do, must remember that you can collapse all. And then we just give them all the factories that we were using for these convoys. And another few. From here. Good. All being produced. January of 1943. That's probably probably about when we're going to want to go to war with the Germans. With a hundred deck space. Sexy. Okay, landing against Denmark here. Attaway, Jesus. <laughs> Attaway has just gifted five subs. <laughs> to Zef, Smoky, Door, CS, and Windigos. Thank you very much, Attaway. That's very nice of you. We are now at... We can get a siren emote. <laughs> Let's go. 
Happy birthday. Thank you, Adaway. That's very kind of you. <laughs> now we can get that, uh... Yeah, get that siren emote going. <laughs> That'll be fun. Where is my where's my landing party? I still haven't left yet. Ah, oh, because it was I have the same guy assigned to it. Here, let's give you a different guy. Justification on Yemen's done. Siren emote. So what should the siren emote look like? I think it's got a just like a a little flashing uh I think it's weird, but I think this patrol force can give us naval supremacy over the whole world if we just do that. I think probably it's got a, uh, the best way, best thing for the siren unit would be a little, um, like the light you get on top of police cars, like one half red, one half blue. I could try having a go at making that. Could be fun. Could be fun. Um, we do need these techs at some point, but there's no rush really, so. Why don't we get, oh, we can finally maybe get some, yeah, we should start working on decryption. There you go, the old emote. It's another thing, so sh do you reckon, do you guys reckon we should keep the old Christ Christo emote, that one, Count Christo, or do you reckon we should replace that with um, like an actually good emote? How big can emotes be? I don't know, however big that one is, it's that one's max size. I remember this. That one is, uh, it's like, I don't know, 10, something like 15 pixels? I can't remember. I honestly do not recall. I'm sure you could see, Adaway, if you actually tried to set one. Because you still haven't set your first emote, have you? Replace? Well, what would the second? So we've got Siren. Adaway wants motorbike, but I want something else other than just going, like, straight Siren, then motorbike. Because that's basically the same emote, isn't it? Why did I send in this division? This is one of my good divisions. Oh well. You have before and it just wouldn't set it. You gave up. Eh, fair enough. I mean, you know, some people are just quitters, I guess. <laughs> Let's go more into the navy. Because that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna hold them. EU4 Hoi4 greater than Hoi4 emote. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, Archangel. Uh I I think a uh <laughs> Not sure how that would work. Maybe, um, I don't know. I mean, there's lots of things we could do, just like a mayo and taxes emote. But it, it doesn't seem as fun as it could be, right? There, are, there's, there's more thing. I feel like there's more stuff we could do with it. Police car emote with a police siren sounds in the stream. Exactly. That it's that's the that's the siren emote. We will have that. There's no doubt in my mind. We need a siren emote. Um, but what else? A swastika emote. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I think... How, how could you work Don't Bet Against the Count into an emote? Because I love that. I mean, I know I'm the only one that says it, but I love it. Because <laughs> that would be fun. You guys no longer need to operate. In here. And uh, you guys, what are you? They're just patrolling. Okay. We need to make sure our guys are fully trained up. Birthday stream indeed. We're not going to go for very long. Just two hours. I uh, I don't know what my plans are for this evening. My girlfriend has made them for me. She's got some kind of fun stuff planned. I know it involves sushi. Happy birthday then. Thank you. That. Naval invasion is slightly redundant, isn't it? We're going to invade here. And Yunnan. One he click. Okay. Zoom, how could we make a uh, don't bet against the count emote that would that would work well? I don't I don't really know how we do, how we do it. Chat, let's sing happy birthday. <laughs> I need a you know, don't bet against the count. So people say like, "Oh, the old trendy challenge is not possible." And I respond, oh, "Don't bet against the count." But what could we uh Oh, main battle tanks, baby. Finally. Do we want to do these? <gasps> Extra stability. Don't really need that. Voter registration just means you permanently get majority in Congress. We don't really need that. <gasps> I think we should probably start working through these. Unless... 
There's something else really important I want to get in here. Cast could be good. I would like... Yeah, let's get escort effort first so we can get a long-term production on these. I bet against the count on one. You didn't bet against me, though. I agree that the first one might not succeed. What I said is that we can succeed at some point. All right, landed in Norway. Good. Who else in the world needs a... Uh, Needs a poke. Denmark, we've done already. That plan is redundant. Um, have we got men ready for the invasion of Cuba? Some. Let's put this guy in there as well. Are you in on Friday? If the moo happens. What? What is MU? Oh, multiplayer. No, I am busy on Friday. Seize Moria emote? That was like the first ever stream meme that we had uh, on my streams it was it was Seize Moria in those really early Mayo and Ta Mayo and Taxes uh, H H E R E streams. They were fun. They were they were very good fun. Let's delete all these plans so they don't accidentally invade the capital. Who else do we need to move against? We could move against South America now, but I'd rather do it during the focuses. Quack emote? <laughs> That's not bad. Many happy returns, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. The Detroit Arsenal. Medium tank. Production cost minus 25%. Give me that, Sherman. Let's rock and roll on the medium tank production. I'm still ordering the military is timing out, but we it is going to fail. Which is fine. <clears throat> Which means it won't give us extensive mutinies. A division from the Dutch East Indies, eh? I think we'll just start throwing them on port defense over here. Modern tanks time, poggers. Absolutely. I'm feeling more and more confident about this campaign. I think we're going to pull it out. I don't know how it works as an emote, but that thing you always said about your fleet when playing Germany would be a bit funny. I don't remember what I always said about my fleet. So I'm not sure that what you mean by that, I'm afraid. I don't know, what, what would I always say about my fleet? Ready to move. Oh, I have no idea what you're on what you're on about with that, I'm afraid. Alright, next. Are you playing with your submarines? Not right now. Oh, you mean subs as in uh, subscribers? No. This is single player. I'm trying to take down the uh, Uber Ike all on my lonesome, which is kind of uh, optimistic of me because last time we could we couldn't beat it in a uh, team of like 19 people. <laughs> so we're really really going for it this this time. Is that actually a victory point? Yeah. Okay, we'll give it a go then. Um, how could you do? I mean, bet against the count. What, what's the symbol for betting? Like a. Uh, a blank card that you'd use, uh, like a bookies, maybe? I don't really know what those look like. Could you do that in an emote well? I think that could work. It could work. Alright, factories are banging on all cylinders with dockyards now. Let's keep it going. Dockyards are where we're gonna, where we're gonna win or lose this campaign. Because, uh, although ideally, we should build them. Well, no, this is fine. Um, because obviously, if they can cut our supply lines to uh, to the homeland, won't ma won't matter how many factories we have. Are you going to? Oh, am I going to? Maybe at some point. I usually just play with anyone who's around. Subs get uh, priority, but that's rarely a concern because we no normally have pl plenty of free spots. Give me. Right, we've got some convoy rating over here already. Listen up. Really, not saying much in your own defence here, so I am. Might actually be able to capitulate them. Our battleships are doing sterling work. Yeah, we could have a sterling work emote. What would you? Uh, what would the symbol be for that? <laughs> hey, there's the destroyer hull. Mm. And I've got everything I want to put on it. I think we need to start researching these. Start getting damage control done. All right, let's design some new destroyers. Sterling silver. That's not a bad idea. 
so this is going to be our uh, our screen. Just some some good light batteries. Could get some some a some anti air on the light batteries. They're actually better light attack, just lower piercing. So yeah, sure, that seems fine. We're also going to definitely want some torps. And do I think fire? I don't think high level fire control is worth it. These are screens, so they don't need radar. They do need that. All right, it's the 1940 screen. I don't mind if I get cucked, Timo. <laughs> Look, in context, that was fine. <laughs> Did I do that properly? Yeah, there we go. But I forgot to duplicate, which we should do. Uh, and then we need a... Are we building scout destroyers separate from screen destroyers? No, I've elected to not do that this campaign. Cool. We do have a need a uh, an anti-sub destroyer. Which is just going to get mad depth charges... As well as radar. Good. I never said that, Archangel. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from the UK. Anti sub warfare. There we go. All right. See, there you go. <laughs> now, now be the time to raise your siren emotes. <laughs> hey, Quizir, how you doing? <laughs> there is the Uberite challenge. Explained in all its glory. I don't think we need good guns on the anti-sub guy. So let's just make him cheap. Good. So we're going to want a bunch of lines of screens. Probably one of those will be sufficient. And everyone can just go to the main, res main reserve. <clears throat> Christo Siren, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Freed! It's just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime, thank you, Freed. You're very kind. I appreciate it a great deal. It's a nice birthday present. <laughs> thank you. Alright, we don't need any of those. Good. So these guys are outdated. Just make another one of those. And then we're going to need some cruiser action. First off, remember to duplicate. We're just building... No, we are building two kinds of cruisers. Because I want a screen cruiser and a uh, battle line cruiser. And the battle line cruiser is going to be very heavily armed. We are going to put some torp launchers on here. As well as aircraft for the screen one. Some decent sonar. Maybe, actually, we don't go with the fire control. In order to get sonar and radar. We really need to build better radar. As a matter of some urgency. Let's put dual purpose secondaries. Do we want the heaviest armor? The production cost change is not actually vast. Uh, and I do want... Probably... Some anti-air slotted on the back. Sub two weeks back, but Twitch wasn't letting me watch stuff. Oh, bad luck. Well, I'm glad you're back now. That's our screen cruiser. Duplicate it, and we'll throw these into heavy batteries. Boom. Ready to do some serious fire firepower with this bad boy. Nice. Don't need fire control on a destroyer. Don't need it, but for the screen ones, might as well. I should probably actually go heavier towards... Uh, this is a line one. Should actually probably go heavier towards... Um, Putting, we'll put some, some light batteries on there as well. Sure, I should probably go heavier towards putting more more subs on my line destroyer actually, rather than these. Maybe we go go an extra one there. And by line destroyer, I mean screen destroyer, of course. Look at that torp attack, sexy. All right, cancel these. Oh, actually, don't cancel them. We can just switch them. We go good uh, and the old line heavy cruisers can get decommissioned and I want at least two two lines of those oh, yeah, I don't need that do, 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 do. and you guys can now just max out if you're making a ship for combat destroyers are worse per IC than light, light cruisers hmm 
Interesting. Well, I'm also using them for... Uh, this is it's going to be the same design. Is that right? No, we, we have a different design for anti-sub warfare. Okay, well, maybe we'll tone it down on the... Uh, the screen produ production then. Just have one line of screens. And let's take uh, let's take Kazir's word as gospel. Oh, we have put max gun max armor on here. We'll go with some more screen vessels. Good, and I want the line ones lower down. Good. Okay, just one more of those, if you please. Looks good. <laughs> Birthday death by hiccups. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about the hiccups, but I'm sure, you know, I'm sure you'll live with it. With some uber-like goodness. More and more port garrisons. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. So, what do you think, chat? Is it going to work? We're going to join the Axis. And we're going to try and take over the faction. We need... <laughs> we need to deploy 14.1 million... And we need to have 1.3 thousand factories. And he's going to keep building factories. <laughs> he's befriending Turkey. Turkey's in the Allies, mate. <laughs> Can't befriend Turkey. We're not going to call them in, obviously. Just kill some Jerry's. We will. But we're going to need... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, because... Who? Who's calling them in? Oh, the Confederate East Indies. All right, my bad. We will just reload that. I forgot they were going to call them all in. Should be interesting. Never seen any anyone go fascist with the US. Well, they've got this whole new thing. Yeah, I completely forgot about the Dutch East Indies. That's fine. We'll just uh, we'll just switch. We'll go into the Axis once we've actually finished everywhere else. That's fine. It's uh, it's going pretty well so far. We have uh, Germany getting ridiculous bonuses. So what I want to try and do is isolate them from their allies. Like, if we could take it Italy and England out of the equation before going to war with them. Confederate States should use a different flag than default fascist USA. I think Confederated States now does. It's just that this is the Confederated States flag. The fascist USA one that we had earlier before we became the Confederated States was different. Okay. Keep on pause. Where have we got terrible supply? Oh yeah, the guys who landed in Norway. Fair enough. Uh, anywhere else we need to land? I don't think so. Not over here, anyway. We've already... No, we haven't landed in Iran yet. Okay. Let's get ready to do that. We can do them after Yunnan. No, there's a diff... There was a... This is the fascist USA flag pre-man the guns. Yes, that's right. Remember the one in the Civil War before the Civil War was different. It was. Or rather, it is. Different. Uh, we, we had one that was like... The normal USA flag in the top right was slightly different. Didn't I already justify on you? I guess I didn't. Oh, we haven't gone towards Siam yet. Let me save, right. That's fine. We can do this now. Siam so joining the Allies, as expected. I think this is a speed fiveable situation. You haven't seen anyone do anything with this game. Just discovered it a day, day or two ago. It looks awesome. It is awesome. Justified your war goal expired? No, it didn't. Really? I don't think it did. I think our... Uh, I think we just hadn't declared on uh, Siam yet. If it expired, we would, have had a war, we would have had a hit. Sorry about the question again. That's fine. You haven't done the Civil War in the USSA yet. What is the law behind it? I'll be honest. I didn't pay that much attention. I was more focusing on... Uh, trying to game it. Um, what's the law behind it? So you you start moving towards fascism and people... Oh god, we have to redesign the destroyers. I should remember to always save after I design a ship. We'll do the empty sub one first. Um, you start go going fascist and then there's a bunch of protests and then war breaks out. More or less. That's about, that's about it. That's pretty much it. I saw the notification for the justification on Guangdong before. Eh, maybe you're right. I will put some sub some torpedoes on there just to be safe. Uh, this is a anti-sub anti-sub warfare vessel. Save it up. 
the duplicate and we'll switch it up for the lion one. What's the challenge about? World Conquest. There is the command. We are fighting a Germany who not only has max buffs, but also has all the technology in the, in the whole game starting from the very beginning. Which makes them extremely tough. Just extraordinarily tough. Okay. This can be the heavy one first. Let's get four heavy batteries. And then... Some, well, we don't need aircraft on the, on the, li the line one. Vary it up a bit on guns. We definitely want some good anti air, some fire control, some radar or sonar. Let's go radar. And some dual purpose secondaries, big armor. Lovely. Including conflicts past paths too, which is the worst. Oh, yeah, conflicting paths. Yeah, that is what makes it really, really freaking challenging. The fact that we can get. Uh, the enemy has um, not only all the tech in the game, but they have every doctrine. Those dual purpose secondary guns are very, very good. They do seem extremely strong to me. I am, uh, I am enjoying them. Not medium battery. Give me a, give me a torp, torp rack. And give me some dual purpose. Smantier. Sure. Looks good. Not capital the screen. Save it up. Did I just overwrite? I did. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Deep gates. Back to heavy cruiser guns. Do I want that many heavy cruiser batteries? I should probably make this something different. Sure, more anti-air. Don't, don't let these guys get hit by anti-air. When did they have the ship designer? Recently, in Man the Guns. It's one of the big appealing features of the most recent uh, DLC. Alright, that one's outdated, that one's up. Those are all outdated. And do 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 do. Don't need that anymore. And those are all outdated. Good. But I'll stop production on these guys a bit more slowly. So as not to drive myself insane. First off, well no, we can do it now. Uh, one, uh, two on line Three on that. One on that. One on that. Are you drunk to keep hiccuping? N no! I just got the hiccups while I was working earlier, unfortunately. Such is my lot. And my birth birthday as well. It's unfortunate. They've got less bad. Earlier they were so bad they were quite painful. That start. You need to drink something? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm drinking tea. It doesn't seem to be helping. I could go and get something stronger in a bit. Let's get... Uh, I should probably start on these ones because it takes a while to get up here. <coughs> yeah, sure. Sorry, such news. Oh, wasn't there something else I needed? Yeah, we should get extraction, really. Right, but for now, we'll just focus on killing all these guys. Hey, Gigao, how you doing? Gigao, can you think of a way to get uh, Don't Bet Against the Count into an emote? I wonder if they're garrisoning this port. Do, do, oh, I should save. I'm doing very well, thank you. Finished my work for the day. Uh, had my... Uh, what What was that? No problem. Um, I, uh, I need new emotes. And, and uh, I want to make it something to do with don't bet against the count, which I say sometimes when people don't believe I can pull off a challenge. And I'm wondering if... I can, I'm tr trying to think of a way to get that into an emote. Anyone in chat can answer, obviously. <laughs> I'd always had some goes at a siren emote. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I'd kind of rather it just be like that um, stylized light on the top of a car, though. The, the kind of rounded top ones. I think that would work better. That's definitely a, a good, good starting point, though. Oh, damn. Some men here. That's... Uh, it's unfortunate. These guys are dead then. Taking aim. I guess if I get... Nah, they won't give me military access. If they give me military access, we could get uh, supply from them. Let's try and get round and then get military access through uh, Greater Portugal, maybe. 
Or even if we're not crossing this river, we might be able to get them. Oh, but they're going to leave. That would work too. All right, we are out of things. Out of, uh, almost rather, out of space out of space to build these dockyards. Um, sure, let's give give our puppet a bunch of dock, dockyards. If they, I mean, they'll probably just, you know, push out destroyers and things. Oh, hello. How do I have a space, so much space at home? Ah, because I reduced my, uh, my mill factory production as well, didn't I? Yes. Nice. More dockyards. Dockyards forever. Good. Some volunteers? No, thank you. And some more guys for port garrisons. Oh, yeah. The Dutch East Indies has been accepting modern tank volunteers from Germany, looks like. God, that's scary. Just hold your breath the whole stream? Great idea. <laughs> Mortavis says happy birthday. Thank you, my man. It's nice of you to say. Let's get Iran done. Do, 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 do. Come on, move you guys can try and fall back if you like. I don't really care if you live or die, to be honest. Infantry aren't going to be what make or break this campaign. Alright, who's left in the, wo in the world that we can still go against? China? China would become a major. Uh, Saudi Arabia and Yemen and Iraq. Iraq's going to be a pain to get, unfortunately. Saudi Arabia and Yemen, however, will be uh, a breeze. Land here seems good. Uh, whoops, I deleted my Iranian plan. That's fine. Re remake it. No, pro no problem. And Yemen. Not there, because that's the border. Let's go there. Good. Christo, why do you use fallback lines instead of garrisoning uh, ports? Because Garrison... Co I did a video on this, actually. I should get a command to po post a link to that video automatically in Twitch chat. Uh, the Garrison command is not very not very good. Is the, the, the quick answer to that question. Uh, it, it makes mistakes that I do not... I do not make. Which makes it unacceptable. There's... Justification on Oman... Basically, they move the troops between different places, which they shouldn't do. USA intervention in the Middle East. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> no, I will not join, not join your faction. It's backhanded blow. Time for modern Blitzkrieg. And there's the escort efforts. We could also do um, the fleet submarines to try out these cruiser submarines. Uh, do we need any of this? None of this seems that important. I mean, the radar research would be useful, but... Probably want to do mobilization speed. Oh yeah, more recruitable pot. It'll be useful for trying to take over from from Germany. But for now, let's start going down our actual expansion route. Democratic US is stupidly dumb and MP. You can get research slot in three fo five in three focuses. That's pretty good. I reckon cruiser submarines are good. We will try them out. Don't you worry. They will be experienced. Stack cat catapults on them. That does sound fun. No one else become a major in the Allies. No, good. Just keep cranking out factories. They detect and then the other subs can sink. I think the subs seem to detect like almost Im immediately anyway. Can we get another tank research bonus? Anywhere in here? Doesn't look like it. So we should invent anti-air tank destroyers of the Shermans. Oh, nice. Undefended port. Maybe these free cores will survive. We should do a UK versus Germany game. As long as I get to play Germany. <laughs> I'd absolutely do that. The Confederates? Yeah, we're playing as the Confederated States of America. Not technically the Confederates, but uh, admittedly close. I want to see if I can kill the subs. Yeah, that sounds fun. 100 bits! We have to actually hear you without turning your speakers up all the way. <laughs> Thank you. You're very kind. It's a, it's a nice birthday gift. What faction are you in? None right now. We're going to join the Axis. See if we can take over the Axis. Uh, and then kick everyone out. And then kill them all. And then so we can kill Germany. 
Does Germany have all the doctrines? Yes, they have all the doctrines. They have all the mutually exclusive in industry tech. They started the game with 160% production efficiency. They are terrifying, terrifying beasts to whom we may lose. But I believe in me. So I think we might be able to manage it. All right, who can we still declare war on? Basically no one. I think everyone else we could plausibly get to is in the Allies. Sweden's not, but they they might become a major. All right, let's uh, let's get this peace deal. Nice. So much for the Allied nations. Australia followed by peace deal. Awesome. And no one up here is count untouched. Good. I don't know if this is necessary, but there's no harm. Hey, Army's giving me another 400 bits, and this is for your birthday, so have a follow. Thank you. <laughs> You're very kind. Let's uh, let's go through and just tickle states with everyone. Actually, maybe we should puppet... Well, yeah, what we'll do is we'll puppet China so we can de steal all their manpower because we need to deploy like 12 million manpower in order to take over from Germany as, as faction leader. Which is kind of insane. Take over the Axis and kick big nations one by one. Kill them before picking Germany out. That is the plan. Yes. That's what I'm going to try and do. I mean, we've got some time to kill, right? Because I don't want to really fight Germany until I also have all the tech. <laughs> I mean, just wouldn't make sense to fight them before then, right? So we've got, we've got a while to, to make our plans. To lay our plans and... and Theorize about how best to do this. Weird how it didn't go all the way up here because I swear, I swear I shift clicked on these places. Or maybe they've invented more re more uh, industrial tech since I did that. All the dockyards on the planet. Am I focusing too heavy only on dockyards? We already have 300 mils. Like, I mean, that's plenty, honest honestly. It's a shame I can't embargo Germany or something. Though that would probably dissuade him from wanting to have me join the uh, Axis, which we, we do want him to let us do. Do All the tech you could get, they'll still have more tech than you. Yes! Yes, this is true. Even when we get all the tech we can possibly get, they will still have more than us, sadly. So how is it that these places have more buildings than they have slots? That's what I want to know. Is Sweden neutral? They are? Yes. Uh, we will go to war with Sweden in a bit. Uh, next tech. Decrypt finish the decryption tech. No, let's get some radar because I want my uh, ships to have that. The AI is cheating. Yeah, may maybe. Uh, we could still do like training camps from Germany and all that stuff. From the foreign supporter focuses. War support's gone up. Now we're no longer at war. So we can't actually do war support. For, um, what do I want to build more of? We've got three on cruiser screens. Happy birthday. Thank you. Let's get some more anti-sub. Guys, we're low on steel. What the hell? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, we need to, uh, need to industrialize a bit then. I'd rather not have to import my steel. So we'll do a bit of uh, homegrown steel bulking up here. I've got the factories to support this these days, so just give me give me anywhere that's got steel. Somewhere defensible down here. The Himalaya's got some. Good. And for now, we will import from the Brits. Not scared of the Brits. Montreal focuses prospect for resources for the lulls. We could do that, yeah. We've got some political power now that I'm not don't need for anything actually. <gasps> what should we spend it on? We can't. You can't repeat the ones that give you tech and consumer goods, which is unfortunate. Uh, could you press censorship? But we're 100% fascist, so that won't help. Uh, we could do steel, I guess. Yeah, there you go. There's a bunch of steel. Fantastic. What else? Could change the economy law. Don't really want to though. Statehoods for extra manpower. Yeah, state statehoods are a good idea. And we could do donations, get some off-map factories. Sure. 
But let's do state statehoods first. Yeah, statehoods for factories. Statehoods for manpower even is a good idea. And then, sure, Chinese. Give us some extra... <gasps> extra off-map sibs. Always handy. Alright, now we're no longer in the war. Let's, uh... Let's, let's just recall the fleet. <gasps> Back all the way over here, please. And same for you. And you guys. What just happened? Why did you merge? Split. You guys are crabs. There you go. Why won't you come here? Oh, they already are. Okay. Ah! Merge them again. <laughs> You guys are crabs, subs. Just get your, get your sen over here. All right, we've got a bunch of anti-sub ships. I think we might be overproducing anti-sub ships, but I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so we got the tanks ready to enter production. Let's do it. Give me those Shermans, baby. How many Shermans? Yes. Yes is the answer to your question. This is going to cost a lot of steel. Uh, but that's okay. Start with uh, maybe 60 factories on that. Well, actually, we've got more than that available, so sure, just throw them all at it. And now we're once again hugely deficit on steel. <gasps> but we can import more. Let's try and be efficient with our imports. Um, I'm not scared of Spain. And then I guess the rest will just have to come from industrializing and, pros and prospecting. That will get us uh, a fair amount of steel, too. Anywhere else with largish steel deposits for me to develop? Ah, yes, China. Give me a little, uh, little boost there as well. Good. Okay, all the men returning home. Where are you at? Almost there. Good. I'll just merge in this fleet for now. Medium self propelled anti air is done. Give me those tanks. I really should have done a bit of an upgrade on these Shermans. They're, uh, sorry, the Shermans. Give me a bit of a main gun, please. Ah, uh, no, before I do that, I must make sure I have enough. That's not what I meant to do. I must make sure I have enough, um, what you call it? <gasps> enough XP to build the tank division itself. So, armor division, we're gonna want some medium tanks. Definitely want a maintenance company in here as well. Good old mediums. And I might... No. I was going to say I might build 20 widths. Just so that we can fit loads and loads of tanks on the front. But I don't think so. Zoom says, check Discord. Don't bet against the count. That's pretty funny. I like that. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Do we need... Any anti-tank divisions on here? We probably do, because they have modern tanks. Which could cause us real problems. Early game US infinite fleet exercising has been nerfed. Oh yeah? How so? How so? How about 60 wits? I think we're okay. Undisturbed isolation now gives minus 60% fuel gain. Oof. That is pretty good. How long can they uh, exercise their fleet for these days before they run out of uh, fuel? All right, there we go. Let's get some more naval XP for us. Once you guys have arrived, they have arrived. Exercise it up. You guys are. What are you, Clemson class? Just get in the get in the main fleet. That's fine. They didn't all merge in. Ah, because I have this set to something. All right. Well, we just have the. Uh, no, hold that. Belay that order. I want to merge the other way around. This is, uh, ah, reserve died. Just wondering how long it would take them to f fix it. Yeah, pretty quick. It's still tons of XP, even if it's not a lot, not 24 grand. That's true. <coughs> Main reserve. Did, did I just muck up where all my fleets are going? Yes, I did. Darn it. That's all right. We can redo it. Russia intervention, you can do it again. It's true. That would that takes you off in isolation. They could make civilian do it more, uh, do some uh, cutting into fuel gain as well. <gasps> that shortness of steel is hurting me on my production. 
But we do have the difficulty setting helping us out. It's only minus 30%. Not as bad as it could be. Can you exercise the reserve while it's, res while it's a reserve? No, you can't, so that's fine. We'll just have it not be a reserve while we're doing some good old exercises. We have a decision timing out. <gasps> Store order of the military. We've already done our best to do that, so that should be okay. Uh, good. Screens banging out at a nice rate. Good. When you need factories to repair, you can have 50, 50 of them. Okay, so next, Cuba. Seize Cuba. Give me an invasion force, please. We should be careful. Um, some people over here are... Yeah, we should join the Axis. Because some people over here are are fascist and might join the Axis and then be, you know have the Axis called against us. So we'll join the Axis, uh, but then we will just not call the Dutch East Indies into any of our wars. That should work. I'm going to drop a save, just, you know. Stability is always a concern. Decisions available. More Borksite. Don't really want Borksite. Uh, we might ramp up. No, I think we're okay on Borksite. Um, just keep going with that steel, baby. Get me as much steel as you can. Okay. This guy's got commando already. Construction permission request. Journey is request permission to construct what radar station in Iceland. I accept. Right, we have allied construction projects on, which is why we got that. Yeah, please, Germany, spend all all your political power doing nothing but that. So I know exactly how many factories he has. In order to take over, we need 1,307 factories. We already have 700. It's not undoable. We do need 17.5 million manpower, which is pretty crazy. Bypass that one, and there's the Hellcat, too. North American Dominion. Dominion. Confederated States of America demands control over foreign policy. Okay, do we want these? Probably not. Could do these ahead of time. Don't really want to. Uh, let's get the decryption. I think would be useful. Unless there's a uh, ship type I'm missing. No. Good. We do need this, actually. The bracket shooting. Helps out later on. So we've got that war goal now on Cuba. Give me, honestly, like a, just a little sub-fleet action. Will be enough here, I think. Another seven days and then we're ready to go. Construction permission request, I accept. That's nice. They're going to build us a bunch of stuff. <laughs> now that we're in the Axis. It's fun. Oh, and we get a decision thing about them constructing a radar station. That's fun. There's a better radar. We won't actually bother upgrading it until we get the higher ones. Uh, no, go on. I'll take the time. Anti-sub ones. Does it help with uh, sub detection as well? It does. You are... Do, 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 do. Anti-sub warfare. Save it up. And you... Same deal. Oh, no. You're the one I just did. You could do a single province border with the Reich and build a massive bunker and bleed their manpower out. That, uh, that will be the strategy, but first off, we need to make sure they can't just uh, destroy us generally. And I think want to, do, to do that, we want uh, good bases in, in their lands. He's just built one more of these. Good bases near their lands. Like, if we could take Italy and uh, Spain and England, we'd have a great border to fight them on. Did I just... I thought I'd done that didn't seem to pop up. I think we just have one on screens right now. Just bump that, bump that down. These will all automatically cascade. A single province border, they'd probably just push across. Because they have... Uh, like, their tank divi their modern tank divisions are going to be absolutely terrifying. More steel. <gasps> American steel it will see us right. Just outdated in terms of the anti-sub. Good. And we can start producing some modern tank destroyers. There we go. We're going to go to 5 on those. And bring that back to 50. Looks good. Okay. Um, Cuba. Good to go. 
Let's do this thing. Off the troops go. They are going to hold Havana. But with the troops landing either side of it, I don't think they'll hold against them. More construction requests this time from the British Empire. They might actually hold Havana. Embar embarrassingly enough. Well, maybe once we get the encircle penalty, we'll see better results. Let's bring the task force over for some shore, shore bombardment. And since they seem to be holding so well, let's also prime Advance. another naval invasion going to the south. Good. We might win this. It's going to be a bit close, though. Closer on, than I'd like, that's for sure. You going to land here? Ah, not if those guys come in. It's going to be close. Ah, no. I should have, uh, should really have deployed some planes here, shouldn't I? Hmm, which we have quite a few of. Give me a thousand close air support, please. <laughs> God, their range is terrible. It's terrible. Have I not been... Oh, God. No, no, we have been inventing better. We just haven't invented better close air support. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do that right now. Build thousands of old close air support. That's disgraceful behavior. Still can't push in here. Show all the Axis members on the world that we border. It's true, we do act, we do border Germany in... Uh, well, I, I'm in the Axis now, so it's a bit hard to tell. But yeah, we border them in uh, quite a few places. <laughs> quite a few. It's true, we have factory slots in here that I had uh, neglected to use earlier. Uh, Alright, you guys failed your, your initial attack. Let's launch a second wave. Yes, sir. Just as soon as you can. Not you. <laughs> cool. Do, 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 do. Never seen the construction requests before? No, that's not the thing for the US Congress. Um, no, easy, mis easy mistake to make. I see how you, you came to that conclusion. That's the Allied Construction... What's it called? Something, something. Allied Construction mod. Allied... I can't, can't rem even remember, to be honest. Legion Royal Bulgaria is going the Axis. A hey, nice support. Um, Allied Construction Projects, that's what it's called. Lets you build in... Uh, you thought it was... I know what you thought it was, yeah. The one where they ask you to build something. Ah, damn, they just showed up. Taking cover. Let's just try and build port at each end here. Come on, move out. Um, yeah, when they ask you to build something in exchange for state support. No, it's not that. <clears throat> These guys, off they go. We could take that airbase. That would uh, improve our situation immensely. <clears throat> Ready to move. So let's cross our fingers here. Some of them have gone down to the south trying to deal with us there. So maybe we'll be able to take this airbase. Ba air That'd be very handy. It's a very, very shabby invasion we've carried out here, but that's okay. Cool mod. It is a cool mod. Happy birthday from the Netherlands. Thank you. Yes, it's a very handy mod. Costs political power to build in your allies' land. Uh, it's not just free. So if you look here, we get this new little UI. You can assist repair. You know, how many factories do you want to assign to the project? Which which one? Start project. It's, it's fun. And yeah, they have to approve it. Not sure how you could exploit that, but but they have prevented you from doing so. In multiplayer, obviously, because I think in single player they just the AI just says yes. Move out. Ooh, I think we we might be able to push through here, and then straight on into there. Ready. Let's keep them deorged if we can. How long until our port's done? Not a huge length of time. Uh, right, of course we can't fly air but planes out of here because we've got zero um zero what do you call it zero supply, so we'll have zero mission efficiency. Come on, ah, darn it. Keep on just keep them pinned. They want to build some more radar stations. That's fine. And there's a naval base. Good. Okay. Just give me a bunch of troops. We'll soon have this done. Haiti submits. Okay, so it's finished. Focus. Haiti, Dominican, Panama, Nicaragua have all... Ex Oops. Oh, thank God. God, I pressed the right button. <laughs> so we've got Haiti. We've got Panama. Got Nicaragua got the Dominican Republic 
Guatemala has refused, gain a puppet focus, El Salvador refuses, and Costa Rica refuses. Bypass Pacific pacification. What does that one do? Australia and New Zealand, right? And we can demand territories from the US. <laughs> uh, let's try... Let's do that f first. We will lose war support if they say no. So it's risky, but... Uh, yeah, what, what are you going to do? Got to try it. This is an awful invasion. I know I'm not paying nearly as much attention as I really should. Let's, uh, let's just grab all the troops from these guys. We'll just use them for uh, probably port defences of our home territories. Probably be uh, an appropriate use for them. Never says happy birthday. Enjoy your content. Thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> You're very kind. It's nice of you to say. Do, do, do. Good. Now you guys, give me all your troops. Oh, Guatemala. That's right. These guys aren't in the Axis. Oh, sorry. Aren't my puppets? They just happen to be in the Axis. Nicaragua is though. Yeah, so we don't need those. Um, those ones to be garrisoned. They aren't our buddies. Oh, Panama is though, I think. So I'll take your troops too. And one can go there, and actually the rest could just get ready for a quick invasion here. That would be ideal. So who do we get war goals on then? Uh, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Right, well, but obviously El Salvador is in the Allies, so we won't be able to do much against them. It's just going to be Costa Rica and... Uh, is that it? I think that is it. You're on time for a change. Cool, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Just in time for me to finally finish this absolutely shambolic invasion of Cuba. More special decisions. Give me more steel forever. Let me just click through to make sure I'm right. It's just Costa Rica. <gasps> Yep, I think so. Good. Alright, finally there goes Havana under our control. Keep now moving. it's just a matter of pushing down the rest here. More dockyards. Um, I want more and more and more screens until there's so many screens that you shout no more. But we're just going to keep going. Because the screens are king. In the U.S. Civil War, as Confederates, do you always just annex the North? Uh, do you mean is there an option for the North to remain independent? Yes, I believe you always just annex the North. Do do. All right, you guys can go home. Guantanamo should be American. Well, we're taking it now. It was an awful invasion. You're you're right. How many men did I manage to lose in this war? Ninety thousand. That's embarrassing. You have to make sure we don't call anyone in. Just don't... Oh, God, these guys have automatically joined. Well, it's just Cuba, so it's not the end of the world if the Axis joins. Oh, these guys are actually facing resistance. It's not what I expected. How are these guys holding so well? It's crazy. Well, we'll get some planning bonus done. Probably not facing... No, we've got great supply. How are you doing this, man? Cuba. Let's just cycle divisions until they break. I have no objection to throwing away American lives. Not at all. Just keep going. There we go. Now we've probably got them. And once we've got this airbase, we should be in better work. Someone made a mod for, for EU4 to use the Hoi map. Do you mean you play EU4 in Hoi4 or you play Hoi4 in EU4? I can tell from the way you've heard that. Chris is already hiccuping. He's so trashed. I'm not trashed. I haven't drunk anything yet today. <laughs> I'm just hiccuping. <gasps> Alright, now we've got some actual range on our cast. We're going to find ourselves melting them. More construction permission. Sure. <gasps> Britain is That's building up. some stations. Do a drinking game where every time a destroyer is built, you take a shot. Why do you want me to die? Cass is doing good work here. Never heard someone have hiccups for such a long time. I've had hiccups for, like, the whole day. 
It eventually starts hurting. Your diaphragm goes all funny. It is unpleasant. All right, I'm going to call it apart here on YouTube. Don't worry, Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> In the next episode, we will subjugate all of South America, pretty much, and uh, ready ourselves to try and hopefully take control of the access. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.